Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today it's a dreadful day. Um, it's not the weather. It's that uh, I have this battery bank that I put up a couple of years ago. It was um, it was old batteries even back then. These are from about 2006, so um, old batteries. But they have failed on me, and it, it's kind of my fault because uh, last year in November. I discovered that the battery voltage was very low, so I, I turned off most of the usage of the batteries. Uh, but I didn't realize how uh, how bad it really was. Uh, and then there was like three months: November, December, and January, and there was just no sun. It was a record low sun in those three months, and the batteries were just done for it. I tried to relive them with some battery balancers, equalizers, but it hasn't worked out. Um, they were too far gone. The battery equalizers does a really good job trying to balance this totally dead uh, pack of batteries, but no, the the cells are just done for. Um, I'm, my plan is today I'm gonna take disconnect all of them. There might be a few good batteries among there, I don't know, but I, I am expecting that most of them will just plummet as soon as there is not a charge on them. This charger over here is managing the, the lead acid batteries and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up. When I just when I just came down here into the basement, it was at 53 volts. Now it's at 50 volts and um, 24 kilowatt hours of battery power shouldn't be able to move that fast so it's really not working so yeah it's a bloody shame that's a lot of used to be good batteries that i have to disassemble so i've been dreading this i am not fun of this so yeah rather irritating i am running and talking about batteries, the battery on the camera died. So yeah, fresh battery. <laughs> yeah, I am right now running on the lithium ion battery banks that I've made out of old laptop batteries up here. There is about four kilowatt hours. And the lead acid battery bank was about 24 kilowatt hours. That might have been in 2006 numbers. They were definitely not 24 kilowatt hours when I got the batteries, but they did work a couple of years and I did get them for free. I did spend a lot of money on those balancers, but I am definitely not throwing those out. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, shutting down, disconnecting and making room for something new. And right now it's at 54 volts and it's, it's moving up and down as if yeah it's not great and if there is a cloud it will just plummet again so over here is the lithium ion batteries and they are way more stable uh, and that's those four banks sitting right there so yeah we are gonna be disconnecting the batteries I need to go shut down the solar input uh, to not have that coming in so that way I can I can shut down the solar and then I can shut down the batteries and then it should be safe to well safe and safe uh, it should be the safest <laughs> to disconnect them up here is the solar panel disconnect uh, panels <laughs> and down here is the ecrouge foo method that I couldn't found caulking material um, that has been hiding for me so we're just gonna shut down everything here. Uh, some of them are for the lithium ion batteries but just to be sure we're gonna cut off all of them. So now we don't have solar power coming in. So without the solar coming in this became very noisy. I think it's this one. Oh, the inverter is uh, blowing hot air. <laughs> okay that will probably stop in a little bit. But we can see that the voltage on the battery dropped to 43 volts in no time. So um, we will shut that down. There. And that is going to turn off. So now the batteries are off. 
Um, I haven't had these batteries connected to a load because they have been very dodgy as you could see as soon as there is no power on them the voltage would drop to next to nothing so that is why I'm also realizing they are bad but I have really been dreading uh, taking all of these they look so good just just look at them just look how nice they I took this uh, bank down here apart to try and experiment with the batteries but I had no success on that so that's a bit of a shame so yeah this is sad I think we should disconnect them over here no no then then I will have wires hanging around I am gonna disconnect the ones over here and I'm gonna bring the light with me this time I thought we should have some more light down here so that you can see uh, um, the reason why I'm disconnecting this one first is because this equalizer here is making a very high noise pitched sound that is getting on my nerves <laughs> so yeah there's a reason for everything right let's see this is, uh, this is the most negative one so let's disconnect that I hope it's this one making that noise I'm not entirely sure about that you know those high-pitched noises you can't really hear where they're coming from they're just there and I'm gonna keep these uh, protective things for the batteries on there these they will just get lost if I put them anywhere else so who knows we might find like, enough good batteries to make one bank maybe that would be nice and the noise changed Oh, yeah, I got rid of the iPad's noise. Oh, that was an irritating one. And the batteries are connected with a big, nice bar like that. They are also nice to keep around. So the first bank of today, well the second bank, I have already removed the first bank, the first bank is removed and I have them and I have them located down here on the floor and I thought we should just measure some voltage. These, these protective caps on the batteries are pretty smart because they have left a little hole in them so that you can uh, measure voltage which is nice, goes that way right. So this one is 10.75 volts. 10.79 and 10.12 so they are balanced very well as you can see but the voltage is just too low and I have no idea if the other banks has been uh, uh, dragging it down and this bank is okay but I doubt it yeah I might try and recharge some of them just put a charger on them see what happens but there's a lot of them so um, yeah I'm gonna continue taking down the batteries and get them out of here because it's they're very hard to work with when they're sitting in the battery bank that's my cue go disconnect the next bank okay, the next layer of batteries or battery bank number five is down so this one measures 8.8 .8 volts, almost 8.9 volts. That's not great. That's definitely not great. This one is 10.9. It's not that bad. And this one, which has clearly been boiling over, uh, is at 10.9. And the last one is at 10.1. So yeah, not good. Okay, I have completed the disconnecting of all the batteries and the battery equalizers here. Last week I hurt my back and uh, I found out that it's really stupid to move around on these batteries. They are not uh, light. So um, I'm, I'm taking one at a time, I'm taking my time and 
yeah I'm, I'm trying not to overdo it so uh, I'm probably not gonna move those on the shelf they are in a nice height already so um, it's more difficult to pick them up from the floor and move them out of there I do want to measure some voltage I had a couple of batteries here that was very warm very interesting what they have been doing because they were like warm warm <laughs> so I'm also gonna disconnect all the wires over here on the panel uh, okay the the panel looks kind of empty now that I'm putting out um, those breakers for the battery banks there were six of them they're sitting right there and all of this cable it took it took ages to put in all of this cable and make the connections and measure the length and well I never completed it you can see those um, blue cables they uh, they they needed upgrading they were way good enough for what I was using them for but yeah the, the other ones were better quality but that's definitely not why they broke as someone needs to start carrying out all of these batteries and bring the vacuum cleaner down here <sighs> I know who that someone is I was just up uh, connecting the solar panels again so now we are charging on this one and this one is off I have it in the in the garage so that I can turn on uh, individual there is uh, two sets of panels that goes to this one and one set of panels that goes to this one uh, there's another set of panels that hasn't been connected yet it is the plan that all the panels are going to be moving from the garage and over to the house in a later project but uh, yeah right now we're up and running again it's not as if we are drawing a lot of power it's it has a couple of monitors on there right now but um, I can see it working it's it's <laughs> pulling three watts so those monitors are surely in standby or sleep mode but to take over for the lead acid batteries I have decided to purchase some battery banks uh, these costs an arm and a leg and yeah but they are professionally it comes with a spider which I think I just killed it's still wet down there but yeah I have shown these in a previous video uh, I see that the receipt is there that's probably a lot of information that I don't actually want to share but these are from Pylon Tech Pylon Tech and these are the US 2000 C um, they are produced in China but they uh, I purchased them in Germany because that's cheaper so a couple of good beefy cables that I'm gonna be able to uh, to put up into my charge controller very nice and a couple of network cables uh, there's actually this one says that it's a battery and this one is an inverter yeah they, these batteries they can talk to some uh, inverters and uh, stuff but they are also just batteries and then there are some screw and some rack mounting stuff because this battery is rack mountable but it's not very deep so my idea is that I'm just gonna place it on a shelf down there should we just have the plastic off I have had these sitting for a while now because I was really dreading disconnecting the lead acid uh, batteries <sighs> but we have all the information here which is nice lithium ion batteries uh, I thought they were lithium phosphate batteries they are 2.4 kilowatt hours 50 amp hours they're 48 volts each they're a bit lower than the other ones that I'm running down there these are 52.5 to 53.6 that's the charge voltage so uh, I need to remember that when I'm uh, setting up the charge controller nominal and maximum current in normal use they should give out about 25 amps but they can peak at 90 my inverter down there can take about 45 amps so one of these are quite enough to power the inverter uh, and I have bought two of them and I am planning to buy more of them but they are pricey there we are this package I think it says it was about 24 kilograms uh, cardboard and all so they are kind of heavy but they are very simple in my case I run one connection up to my charge controller and the other two connections onto the next box 
so you connect these in parallel so um, this one will supply 25 amps normal and the other one will supply 25 amps and then we have 50 amps and there is no problem whatsoever and the rest of all of this i really need to figure out before i start saying something stupid but you can set it up there's a manual uh, i ran into the issue that now that i bought these in germany the manual is in german so i need to uh, sit down and watch some youtube videos funny enough the the warranty information here is is in english package list here and all the stuff that is in here and there is an installation manual and that is in english except it's in german so <laughs> Yeah, I ran into a slight issue there. My German is not that great. But I can read the pictures for sure and the specs. Uh, okay, They're also in German. So I'm sure I'll be able to find the manual in English. But yeah, <laughs> that's uh, what's going to be replacing the lead acid batteries down there when uh, I get finish carrying them out of the basement which is going to be one heck of a task so yeah it's a dreadful task to get rid of those lead acid batteries because they did really well a couple of years but then i failed to see that the voltage was very low and right after that there was no power in three months uh, i did buy a, a charger for them but it was too late and then i bought the balancers and that was too late yeah uh just have to well, we say bite the sour apple and get on with it. Irritating, irritating. I'm having great difficulties letting those batteries go. They look so great down there. But <sighs> yeah, this looks great too. It's gonna be very nice and very expensive. I'm also gonna continue making the battery banks out of the used uh, laptop cells. It's just I make a project for some time and I get tired of it and then I move on to something else, which is why we are always changing up the videos here because I move on and I find something else interesting for a little bit. Now I'm gonna go and put some more tiles on my little swimming pool out there. And I also have a welding project that well, you might not see for a while because I definitely can't weld. It looks like very bad. <laughs> but uh, if you want to help me get some more of these, which are bloody expensive, you can always join me over at Patreon, where you for a very, very small amount get an extra weekly video, a Sunday video, where um, I call it the What's Up video because I tell you guys what I've been up to this latest week and uh, the patreon um, gets a video about that they will get a an update that this video with the lead acid batteries is coming and the other video that you saw mm, tuesday and that was about which server i would recommend if you wanted to get into rack mountable servers for and creating your own home lab in a home data center well they are gonna know about this this evening because today is sunday when i'm filming this so i am filming the what's up video for my patrons and as it is the first of the month i always lose a couple of patrons and gain a couple well it's like at the start of the month uh, someone drops off and then during the month someone comes back so i have to advertise that a little bit so that i keep a steady flow of patrons um hope you'll check that out and think it's interesting and uh, support me and, and support me on my loss on all of my lead acid batteries stop whining get on with it yeah sure um other than that i'll be working on carrying those heavy batteries out of there and um, figuring out what i want to do with them i think i want to take them up and put them in the garden for now uh, and then let them sit a little bit and then uh, put a charger on them and see which ones will actually uh, work with me and the rest of them i'm gonna they're going to the recycling i think that might actually be money to be made uh, from all batteries it's not a lot but i think there is a little bit i don't know they are heavy <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye